and welcome back to my channel. It is 4th of July. Yay! It's 4th of July. Red, white, and blue. So today, this is the look that I came up with with help from my little helper over here on this side, my baby sis. One day, I'll introduce her to you guys. But right now, she's just chilling out in the corner. Yes. So, <laughs> so if you want to learn how I achieved this look and all the products that I used, keep on watching. I'm going in with the ColourPop Mar palette and taking the shade Detour, which is that nice, pretty blue shade, and I'm taking that on the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH37 brush and just stamping that on the outer corner. Next, I'm going in with the James Charles palette and taking that blue shade in the shade Cola and just going over that first blue shade from the Mar palette just to reinforce that bright blue vibrant color that we want. And then dipping into the red shade that's called You're Kidding on a JH33 and just tapping that pigment on the inner corner and bringing it up towards the brow. Next, I'm going in with the JH41 and the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan Sand, and I'm going to carve out that inner portion of the eye. Next, I'm going in with the white shade that's called Flashback, and I'm taking that on a Morphe M124 and patting that over that cut crease, that half cut crease that we just carved out. Next, I'm going back in with that cola shade on a JH37, and then going back in with the red shade, you're kidding, on a JH33 that we used in the beginning. And I'm just tapping that pigment on the center of the lid between the white and the blue that we put down. Next, I'm taking the shade Playground on a JH34 and blending out that blue cola shade that we put down first, just so we can have a nice seamless gradient blend. Next, I'm going in with the shade Spooky on a JH40 just to deepen up that outer portion and give it some dimension. Next, I'm going in with the Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop in the shade Snow White that came out with their Disney Princess collection. I'm patting that onto the lid with the Morphe M124. Going back into the shade Cola on a JH43, a nice definer brush, and I'm pushing that pigment onto the lower lash line. 
taking the ColourPop gel liner in the shade Exit, I'm running that onto the lower waterline just to brighten up that eye, just to open up the eyes a little bit more. Now I'm just dusting off my bake with the JH01. And I found these glitters. It's a blue glitter and a star glitter. I have no idea where I found them, but they came in very handy for today's festive look. So I'm just patting that blue glitter onto the inner portion of the eye. And then now I'm taking a pair of tweezers and just putting some of these stars onto the inner portion. Now I'm taking the Colossal Big Shot Mascara by Maybelline and just running that mascara onto my lashes. Now I'm going in with the Lily Lashes in the style Miami. I have heard so much things about this style. Oh my gosh, I swear everyone has worn Lily Lashes in the style Miami and I'm just getting on the bandwagon and I am in love. Now going back in with the Colossal Big Shot and I'm running some mascara onto my lower lashes. Now going in with the Black Radiance Contour Palette and taking the darkest shade on the JH05 and I'm going to contour my cheeks. When I'm contouring, I like to take it from the tip of the ear and bring it down towards the cheek and also on my temple area. Now I'm going in with the Becca Sun Lip Bronzer in the shade Maui Nights on a JH02 and I'm just going to bronze. Now for blush, I'm taking the ColourPop X Bretman Rock Super Shock Blush in the shade Ooh, She's Blushing on a JH04 and I'm going to apply that blush to the cheeks. Now to set all of my powders, I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and now for lips I am using the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner and the ColourPop Chi Chai Liquid Lipstick.
for gloss, I'm going in with the OG Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow just to add a little bit more warmth to my lips. Now going in with the Benefit Cheek Leader Mini Palette, I am going in with the shade Cookie. I have heard so much people talking about the shade Cookie. Now I'm just adding a little bit because I know it is a paler shade of a highlight and I just want to add a little bit just to bring out that white that we have on our eyes and in the waterline, I think it's going to complement this look so well. Now going in with the JH42, I'm just going to highlight the inner corner. And now the look is complete, you guys. look you guys I hope you enjoyed my 4th of July makeup tutorial um, using the James Charles palette and also the brand new cookie highlighter that everyone is obsessed with thank you to my oh so perfect sister over here on this side that was comfy I'm not showing her face. she's not showing her face but she's here in spirit <laughs> let me know if you enjoyed this look right here as always Please click that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my uploads and also ring the bell. As always, I love you guys and I hope to see you right back here very soon.